A big thank you goes out to at Grandma Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the all electric tier. If you want to support this channel, head over to Patreon. There's a link below. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And today, this video is the Curvy Country Road Test number 13. And we are running software version 2020.12. Dot one. And if you're unfamiliar with this test, I highly encourage you to go check out the playlist. I'll leave a link up here in the corner. Now this first section of the road is the easy part until we get to this fork here where I do have to take over. So a lot of you have asked about navigate on autopilot for that section and it just isn't available on these type of roads yet. So going through this town, and it does a great job. It does identify the railroad signs on the bottom and also the stop sign coming up and it's gotten a lot better. Here's a difficult stop sign where it's kind of at a, a weird angle, but it is able to identify the stop sign and know where to stop. So here I'm gonna manually slow down the car simulating that it can stop at a stop sign by itself. But as you can see, I'm controlling the speed. So I bring it down to zero to stop at the stop sign and then take over and do the turn manually. Then I re-engage autopilot here, and this is a, the first of many challenging turns in this test. This big break in the double yellow line is I think why we have to take over there, and the car says take over immediately. So before the car crosses the double yellow line, I definitely take over. Remember all of you autopilot testers out there, if you're going to test autopilot, make sure you keep your hands on the wheel and you are in control of the vehicle at all times, just like Tesla recommends. So we have another left turn coming up here that bends up and it does a super smooth job slowing the car down and taking that curve all the way through. That was so smooth, just like butter, and that's way smoother than we've seen in some of the previous updates. So I'm gonna fast forward here because the road is not as curvy, and I'm gonna to go to another point in this road where you've seen, if you watch previous tests, that the car has failed. So when the car fails, we need to take over. And here is one of those other curves. So we're gonna go through and you see the car is gonna to wanna to turn to the right and I have to take over before it hits that side of the road there. So that is the second takeover in this software update 12.1 that we've had to do and also the same takeover spots where the car failed in previous updates. So no huge noticeable changes other than one of those that left hand curve back there that was really smooth. Now this road does carry on before we drop down a couple times and it's doing a great job maintaining lane position although the lane lines are not clearly marked and there are significant shadows. Huge improvements over previous updates. So we have a blind right turn coming up here with limited lane markings. You can see the white lane line on the right side of the road is completely gone or very broken up. Now we're gonna do a left turn here and it is doing a super smooth job. Really impressive here. Now we have a slight right curve here, and that is very easy for the autopilot to control, but this blind left turn is very challenging, so let's see if it can do it. And it is able to do it. It hugs that right side of the road just a little bit, and I definitely put some pressure on the left side of the wheel. Here is a right turn here, and it does get almost on top of the double yellow line. So I didn't have to take over and so it, that is a successful turn. Now here is the last really challenging turn and let's see if it's able to do it and definitely not. It got way too close to that right side of the road for me. Reverse, reverse. So now let's try this same thing in the reverse direction. So one of our really challenging curves is right here and you can see the car drifts over that double yellow line so I do have to disengage autopilot and take over. That is definitely still a really challenging turn for the autopilot system. So here is a left turn now and we're gonna take this really smoothly. Having tested this autopilot system on this backcountry road significantly, it does help when the autopilot is following another vehicle. So since we are following a vehicle here, I'm interested to see if the test does perform better. So we have a right turn coming up here and it is doing 
a great job maintaining that center lane position just as we want. A blind left turn coming up here. We're, again, we're following another vehicle, so I think we are going to see better results here. Typically, when there's no vehicle to follow, the autopilot system is doing more estimated guesses where the road is going to turn to versus following another vehicle using that data set of that vehicle where it turns or where it disappears from its field of view and it's able to use that car's data from its position and give you a way more accurate representation of where the road is going to turn to. So here we have a not sharp left turn and it handles it beautifully. So here's our really challenging curve coming up and in the reverse direction like I've done in a previous video it does fail here also. I think because of that double yellow gap, but we did not have that in this software version, so very impressive. So the double yellow gap I'm talking about is when there's a gap for an intersection in the double yellow line. Autopilot slows down beautifully for that van now turning left. We still have some really challenging curves coming up and now there is no car to follow. So let's see how Autopilot performs on these last couple really difficult curves. So we have a curve coming up here and it is gonna go down this hill and then to the right. So this is a pretty significant curve and pretty hard for the autopilot system where it has failed before. And it does a beautiful job. So definitely glad that it didn't drift over there with this huge truck coming in the opposite direction. So the speed limit does slow down a bit here as we approach this town and there is two last difficult turns. The first is right here, and it is a blind right turn, followed by the most difficult turn on this test because of the double yellow brake. And we're gonna see if it's able to take it, and I do have to take over there. So a really impressive turn though, because on this turn previously, autopilot does fail a lot sooner, and I do have to take over a lot sooner. Now you can see here we are rendering the stop signs and, but not stopping at the stop signs yet. Hopefully that does come in a future update. We're also seeing the railroad crossing signs on, marked on the ground and of course all these cones and not only the cones but also like the screen will render the white bars or the white plastic sticks similar to cones but usually fixed. So now that we're through this town, autopilot is taking us through and we are have a one more curve coming up here, not a very sharp curve, and also because of the speed that you're required to go in town is a lot slower than once you get out of town, the autopilot system is able to perform flawlessly on this curve here. Now I do have to disengage because of a left turn, which the car will not do yet. So on this other section of the curvy country road test, it performs beautifully and that is because this section of road is just easier. There are less severe curves compared to the other side of the town where we have several curves that require takeover. Now I haven't seen huge improvements in this update although there are some minor improvements just like we saw in this test. So if you haven't done so yet go back and watch the other Curvy Country Road tests and you will be able to pick out the subtle improvements from each software update. Now, while they are so minor, this is huge because as Tesla improves and once we get a software version that can pass this test flawlessly repeated times over, some other tests have passed, but it hasn't passed repeatedly. So where it will pass a turn or a curve once, it will not pass it every single time. I'm really excited to get the next software update so we can see what improvements Autopilot has within that update. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one.